visit. Interesting, right? Eden University has an answer for you. Eden University, your dream university. So, if you find this video helpful in any way at all, please like and share. But don't forget to hit the subscription button. So, to set the ball rolling, Mr. William, can you tell us how one can apply it in the university? Thank you very much. Well, um, it's very simple to our viewers out there on how you can apply at Eden University. Send your grade 12 result and you have to send your NRIC. These they are supposed to be scanned. Now, who should you send to? You can send to um, the person who is applying for you. It could be a student. It could be sometimes maybe it could be anyone, a member of staff who is working at Eden University. And the so, if I apply at Eden University, what do you think is the probability for someone to be accepted to Eden Okay, uh, to make it clear, the probability is 80%. That is if you're, you meet the requirements that are needed in order to be accepted at the university. Like your A, your O levels are okay, and if maybe by chance you can be still having some doubts on your A levels, there's still a chance for you to get accepted without having complete A levels. Okay, so, okay, Mr. Doug, Douglas, no, sorry for interrupting. No, you're saying if you've got some missing, like, how many to be specific, uh, specific, if I say I've all, I only have one subject, and then th that's the only subject that I cleared on my grade 12 uh, exams, and then the other four, um, they are missing, can I be accepted? Uh, not really. There's a limit to how many you can be accepted for. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, for if you want to do a medical course, you must at least have sciences, English and math. So if those those are the basics, so if they are not there, it can be hard for you to be applied for. So it is encouraged for you to actually clear these five so that in case of any other missing subjects, those can be fine and worked upon. Okay, that's interesting. I heard like, uh, you know, people um, people have been asking me questions uh, concerning about uh, applying at Aiden University. They could be like, they are like, We've heard at Hayden University they accept uh, without even giving a condition. They accept to do uh, what course you want without re sitting for it. If I've failed, maybe if I've got science and then I don't have biology, but these other ones have passed, have cleared. And then, which uh, can you be specifically to the viewers out there? What or which program is that which they allow to to be accepted, to be admitted without giving a condition of re sitting? Do you have any idea? Yeah, uh, for most uh, courses that do not concern medical related stuff, yes, you can have the probability of being accepted. But for medical essentials, it's very vital that you have complete A levels in order for you to be accepted for in the university. Okay, and in this situation, the program that they allow most of the time, these are those who are doing registered nursing. You might have science and then you don't have biology, but you've got science, maths, English, and civic education, but you don't have biology. You can still be accepted without being given a condition to do that. You can have maybe you've got, uh, you don't have uh, biology, but you have science. You don't have science, but you've got biology, because these things with nurses, they do relate. Yeah. So I didn't really get clarity on what is required. Yeah. For an entry here at the university okay it's very simple so like i said uh, you need uh, first you need to scan your nrc you need to uh, if you are a, an international student you have to uh, scan the passport photo right yeah. yeah and the like and then your your grade 12 results you have to scan them and then in your grade 12 results you have to make sure that you've got five o levels include maths english biology science and any other subject Thank you very much for pointing that out. Yes. Um, so, our viewers out there might be wondering, how does one send money for the application form or be it an interview fee for those who probably want to do registered nursing? Yeah, that, uh, thank you very much for covering that question. You know, these are the questions that most of the applicants out there wonder. They'll be like, ah, we don't know the, we don't know the people that we are sending money to. And then yeah, out true. there on the social media, and then there are a lot of different water, um, Facebook groups, uh, Facebook pages, and applicants, they don't know which one is the official one and, and the like, because 
everyone is more like an administrator at Eden University because they are advertising about the the school out there. There are different groups people are posting and the like. So this is the reason we came uh, to uh, bring these points and to help those applicants out there. And it's very simple. So how you can send. Uh, at Eden University, these students they have been um, uh, yeah they've been granted this opportunity to sell what's this the application form. So the, you might you might find different uh, students uh, advertising about the application forms. Uh, like we got, you find people are posting application forms like this. This is the degree application form, and this is the diploma application form. And we have like to to say um, here our uh, our presenter Nico you are from Zimbabwe right yes that's so true. where she's coming from no how can you come all the way from there from Zimbabwe to just come and buy the uh, application form and do it for yourself the process would be just too long this is why students are there to help you you know yeah. like how how did you come to find about our studio and how how did we help in terms of applying for you well actually I was scrolling through my Facebook page mm -hmm. and then I came across a, a Facebook page about Eden University. Mm -hmm. At first I thought it was a scam. How how can I just trust someone with my money? Mm -hmm. But then it turns out that um, the process really went quite well. I had to take my chance. Did I had to okay. sort of risk it. Did you? In how, a sense. How, how did you? How did you come to find about? Uh, you no, know, like the time I was doing, I was applying for you. you know, you said you contacted me in my WhatsApp uh, in my inbox, and yeah. then you were saying that you watched this video on my YouTube channel, and then that video that you watched, how helpful was it? It was very helpful because I got clarity on the requirements okay. and I even got to see the beautiful view of the school. Wow. It is very wow. beautiful. Wow. I'm quite sure you've probably seen some of the places. So I just had to take my chance because my, my grade 12 results were quite okay and I really needed some way to do my Medi my to study my medicine and surgery and then that's when I talked to you yeah and then again you also gave me clarity that I needed my NRC okay. and then I thought the process was going to take rather longer imagine how did exactly. it how did it happen like how did you feel all that how did you feel I can't find the right word to describe actually okay. let's say you have failed a subject at the same time you've been accepted at this university how do you balance resetting for that failed subject at the same time you have to study this program that you're doing yeah thank you very much um, you know most of the applicants they they do wonder okay most of them they feel good to to, to enter for their GC uh, missing result from other institution and but i think most of them they don't know that here within eden university there's a gc center where you can just uh register your gc registration just within eden university after from having your classes and you come here and it's very simple uh unlike when whereby you you, have to you, you enter you have distance. to travel because this yes. uh gc center maybe you've got biology science they would need practicals or so-called practicals and you need you need to travel and mind you as you travel others will be learning your friends will be learning and you'll be missing a lot but if you are within the campus you attend the classes and then you attend the um the uh, practicals and 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 the like yes thank you very much so um for our viewers out there can you take tell us how long it takes for one to get an acceptance letter <coughs> Well, to our viewers, um, once you apply for entry on the, at the university, the process literally doesn't take long. Okay. It takes two to three days. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It, wow. Even shorter, depending on how how the uh, your requirements are, but it literally just takes two, two to three days. That's the maximum you can get. Thank you very much. Actually, thank you for watching our video and. We come to the end of the this show, and as you can see, we just want to show you this. So, as you can see, this is the admission letter, and these are the application form and the like. So, ah. Uh,
do hit the subscription button below there like comment and share and for more ideas on how to apply and if you would want more clarity and to find more about Eden university what programs it offers do subscribe to our channels so that we can be able to release more videos that and that you would want and if you want any question you can drop a comment there so that we know where we have left out and the like do you have madam nicole do you have anything to say to the viewers out there and to the international student they might be from Botswana, zimbabwe whatever south africa and they'd want to come at Eden university and they will be like oh how can I? okay what i can say is this is the best place to be to study your medicine and health okay whatever and it's beautiful. <laughs> okay, how, okay. How, how have you, how, how is your experience yeah. so far? Yeah. Any, are you interacting with your friends? Are you relating? Yeah. So, <laughs> before we know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, you get to learn a new language okay. at the same time. You get to study very well because it is a really, 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 I don't know how many times I've said really great <laughs> passport. Guys, we've got that. Uh, it just behind library. us there's a school library mm -hmm. and the like so and you should check out the laboratories yeah very nice, very nice. so mm -hmm. thank you very much for watching our z talk show oh. do you know me i'm sure they know me i know they don't know me <laughs> my name is william monongwe but i like calling myself william the first yeah. and this is douglas Kalu.